What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Martin Bacoli versus Carlos Takam, and this was a 10 rounder in the heavyweight division. And this fight was Saturday, October 28th, from the Boulevard Hall in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And this fight was broadcasted on TNT Sports' YouTube live stream. And in this fight, Martin Bacoli got a very impressive fourth round stoppage victory over Carlos Takam. Uh, he improves his record now to 20 and 1 with, I believe, 15 KOs, and Takam drops to now 40 and 8. Um, but yeah, this was a very good performance, like I said, from Bacoli leading up to the stoppage. I had this one score 29 28 in his favor. And just to break this fight down round by round, the first round he obviously looked very slow, very sluggish out there, coming in 24 pounds heavier than his fight against Tony Yoka, weighing in at just about 300 pounds. Bacoli did. So he, he looked very sluggish, but he was landing some heavy leather on Takam in that first round, so I gave him the first. But then in the second, Takam started spinning it around and throwing some nice checks, some nice over-the-top um, right hands. I mean, he was doing a very good job in the second. It was a close round. I edged it to Takam. Then in the third round, it was an extremely fun round. Takam was hurt early with some big shots from Bacoli. Um, Bacoli was laying some very good shots on Takam. And then Takam started firing back on Bacoli and got him pressed on the ropes. And since Bacoli's arms were so much longer, he had so much trouble trying to land shots in Takam. And Takam was just peppering him with huge shots. And it looked like that Bacoli could have got dropped or even stunned. And he was getting hit with some big shots. But then later on in the round, whilst Takam was still pressuring forward, he got caught with another big shot from Bacoli. And Bacoli um, swung the round in his favor again. And, and Takam was extremely hurt with some shots to the head, trying to hold on. Uh, then in the fourth round, um, at the start of the round, Bacoli was laying some heavy shots, went to the body, and Takam was visibly shaken by a huge shot to the body from Bacoli. Bacoli continued on with more body shots that saw Takam wincing in pain. And normally I don't usually see fights get stopped on body shots, but this one was. Bacoli was landing huge shots to the body, Takam was visibly like hunched over almost, and the referee waved it off, which is sort of interesting. But by the looks of the fight in the third round, Takam was severely hurt to the head. Those body shots had him hurt in the fourth, uh, and the referee waved it off. So I wouldn't say it was that bad of a stoppage at all. But with this win, what is next for Martin Bacoli? Considering he was this heavy and got a destructive win over someone like Takam, who's looked good in his past couple fights. I know Takam's 42, um, but still, he looked good in this one. Um, Bacoli did. But for Bacoli, I would like to see him um, just continue on fighting these high-ranked guys in the heavyweight division. He beat Tony Yoka, beat um, Carlos Takam here, two very good wins. So I wouldn't mind seeing him. Uh, I've heard that he could possibly fight Deontay Wilder for the WBA title. I saw a Sky Sports article on that. Maybe that could happen. Um, maybe he could fight someone else who's top 15, top 10 ranked at heavyweight. Maybe Otto Wallin. Or actually, it wouldn't happen probably because Waleem would hold on to the IBF spot he's got. But, I mean, I would just wouldn't mind seeing him fight someone top 15, top 10 ranked next, uh, continuing on with this win streak that he's, had, that he's got. Uh, but as for um, Carlos Takam losing here for the eighth time, I mean, he could retire if he wants to, or he could just end his career off on a win um, after this one. But, I mean, he's 42 years old. He's over the hill, but he hasn't looked that bad. Uh, so if he wants to continue on fighting, I definitely think he could upset some of these upcoming heavyweights. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing him against someone who's top 25 to even top 35, 45 ranked at heavyweight for his next fight if he decides to continue on fighting. Uh, so overall, Martin Bacoli stops Carlos Takam in the fourth round to get his 20th victory of his career. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.